pleasant good day everyone and welcome to the handover ceremony of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine from the United Kingdom. First, I will call on the National Immunization Manager, Tekla Jabatis, to brief us with some opening remarks. COVID-19 continues to affect the population and we remain committed to the fight against this pandemic. St. Lucia has reported 22,688 cases of COVID-19 to date, having just experienced a fifth wave, noting the circulation of both Delta and Omicron variants. The national COVID-19 vaccination campaign was launched approximately one year ago, implementing several strategies to promote and ensure uptake of the vaccine. As of the 26th of February, 2022, approximately 28.7% of the population is fully vaccinated. Fighting the pandemic has proven to be a challenge, but we remain resolute to this fight. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, and by extension, the government of St. Lucia, continues to ensure that safe, and effective vaccines are available. COVID-19 vaccines undoubtedly has proven to be highly effective, providing significant protection against severe disease, hospitalization, and death. Today, we are here to accept a generous donation of 10,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine from the United Kingdom. The donation of these vaccines is timely. It comes at a time when the country has been out of stock for the past month. These vaccines continue to provide life-saving benefits to the people of St. Lucia and increases availability to the eligible population as part of our national effort to reach population immunity and help bring in an end to this pandemic. It's a pleasure to be here with you this morning. It's actually almost a year ago exactly that my predecessor stood on the tarmac with the chief medical officer and received the first batch of COVAX, first batch of vaccinations that arrived from COVAX on the 7th of April 2021. The UK was very proud to have been one of the driving forces behind the creation of COVAX with funding of almost 2 billion East Caribbean dollars to provide vaccines for St Lucia and other countries. It's hard to believe where the time has gone. And then in June last year, our Prime Minister pledged that the UK would provide 100 million vaccines, but not only by, by the middle of this year, but not only AstraZeneca. And 80% of those would be provided via COVAX and the rest would be bilateral donations like the one we have here today. The Chief Medical Officer and I have been in regular touch since that pledge was made by our Prime Minister. While the Chief Medical Officer has been monitoring the demand and keeping an eye on minimising the wastage of stocks here in St Lucia. And that's why we're here today, to deliver the consignment of 10,000 doses of Oxford AstraZeneca that St Lucia needs now. Just for background, the UK government provided £90 million to, Ox to, to Oxford AstraZeneca for the initial research and development of the vaccination and to scale up the manufacturing that was going to be so badly needed to, for distribution globally. The UK made it clear that, that part of that funding was that the vaccine should be affordable around the world and consequently Oxford AstraZeneca agreed to distribute it as a non, at a non-profit price during the pandemic. It was to put people over profit. This year, I think we're all sensing a change in our daily life as we come through the latest waves of the pandemic. But as the immunisation manager has said, COVID is still with us. It's not over. And we all know from research or from our own stories of families and friends that follow, who've had the virus that following the protocols and having vaccine protection are still important. It really can be the difference between severity of the illness, hospitalisation and life and death even with an, a variant like Omicron. Just to close these brief remarks, I really want to add our thanks and admiration to all those on the front line, 
who've been part of managing the pandemic here in St Lucia for their commitment and resilience and stamina and service over the last two years. It really has been incredible. Thank you all. I hope we can all get those vaccines into people's arms as soon as possible and keep each other safe. So thank you and stay safe. Let me see how pleased I am this morning to have met Excellency Sunderson and also um, to have had some wonderful discussions with her. Let me say thanks on behalf of the people of St. Lucia, thanks to the people of the United Kingdom, to the government and people of the United Kingdom for this donation of 10,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. The people of the United Kingdom continue to battle COVID-19. They are still at war with COVID-19. The people are still getting infected and some people, unfortunately, have died. Yet they have found it possible to use their resources and to share their resources with us, even in the middle of this war. I wish to say how, how pleased we are and how grateful we are. Um, all around the world, countries are recognizing and have recognized that we, we must all fight the pandemic together. It is not a situation where St. Lucia can fight it on its own or the United Kingdom or the United States. And we are very thankful for the resources which the people of the United Kingdom and the government of the United Kingdom continue to provide. We continue to be thankful for the many projects, the smart facility projects and, and the, the many forms of assistance which the government of the United Kingdom continue to provide to the people of St. Lucia. Our history is long and our friendship is long and we continue to say thanks to the people and government of the United Kingdom for all, all of what they've done, especially in the area of health care and, and, and wellness and so on for St. Lucia. In St. Lucia, we will have to certainly continue to fight the COVID-19 pandemic, but we will definitely have to fight it in a different way. There are many new approaches which must be taken. And I am sure our chief medical officer and, other, and our other medical professionals will make the necessary announcements sometime this week. We will have to learn how to live and learn how to work and at the same time fight COVID in different ways. We need to learn how to protect ourselves and we need to learn how to take even more personal responsibility to ensure that we keep ourselves and our families safe. This gift will go a very long way. We have a serious issue in St. Lucia with hesitancy, and we will have to find new ways, new strategies, and new approaches to cause more of our people to get these shots into their arms. It's going to be challenging, but we continue to ask if there are any lessons, even in the United Kingdom, if there are any lessons with hesitancy, and maybe, you know, you, you Excellency, probably use some strategies, <laughs> and you may want to share these strategies. But we, we admit and accept that we have a challenge. And over the next few weeks, we will have to find, as a ministry, as a country, we'll have to find ways, as politicians, as doctors, you know, we'll have to find ways to break um, that hesitancy and to get more people um, protected. So I wish to thank you, and I wish to thank the government and people of the United Kingdom, and to see that we really appreciate, we're going to do our very best, and we will do it from today. Um, I will take a few minutes to, 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 to speak in, in Creole so that our people can get the message. Mavli di Nukawi Messier, Excellency Leslie Sanderson, Seliki Chef Representative uh, Sanuka de l'Anglais United Kingdom, l'Anglité, avec ses l'autre pays, l'Anglité, c'est lui qui chef qui a représenté le pays à cette ici. Et nous voulons dire merci à Chai pour ces vaccins. Il y a 10 000 doses de vaccins qui, j'ai l'Anglité, ben nous, j'ai dit, le gouvernement de l'Anglité, avec nous savons que nous avons une grande bataille dans cette ici, parce que l'année à Chai, nous avons beaucoup de vaccins. Avec nous savons que l'année à Chai, nous avons beaucoup de vaccins. Mais peut-être qu'il n'y a pas de manière pour jouer un vaccin avec nous pour faire plus de travail à cette liste pour jouer un vaccin, pour jouer un vaccin, pour jouer un vaccin. Avec nous, le gouvernement de l'Angleterre, 
ça a aidé nous à dans chaque différents bagages ça a aidé nous ça nous a couru en anglais smart facilities côté yo yo mettez différents finettes différents bagages comme ça c'est nous ni en hurricane nous bien mauvais temps ou bien ou bien table en terre bagages comme ça um, c'est facilité à qui je ne protéger comme ça l'année chaque autre projet gouvernement anglais a travaillé avec nous en l'air avec nous car oui merci pour continuer travailler avec nous à laisser projet ça là nous savons que l'Angleterre même ni ni Covid avec yo ka goumé avec Covid toujours mais yo joine euh, l'argent pour aider nous avec nous ka dit merci pour ça nous en cette lici ka ni pour joine en différentes manières pour combattre Covid nous savons l'année chaque pays côté yo yo ka ouvert ces pays là avec un chaque ces différents um, bagay la nou te ka fè protokòl di fò bay konsa nou ka ni pou chanje se bagay sa la avèk um, pou mou twe moun pli manye pou pou proteje kò yo avèk fami yo an zafè covid sa la konsa nou ka di la ka ni an, anonsman ki se professional medical la chief medical officer avèk lòt moun ka y fè anonsman simen sa la ki ka y mou twe ki manye nou ka chanje manye protokòl quarantine ek di fò bay konsa nou ka y fè mais sa vle di moun avec famille ou ka ni pou pran pli responsabilité pou asiwe ki yo pa jwenn covid avec yo pa simen avec nou pa simen covid an se commune nan nou ni pou fè sa paske sistèm sante nou ka y bay an chay presha si nou pa fè sa paske pli moun ka y malad si nou pa pran ka konou si nou pa pran vaksin nan pli moun ka y malad avec se l'hôpital la ka y ba presha ko sa nou ka di nou tout an travay ansanm avec Dernièrement, car oui, messieurs, je l'anglité avec gouvernement l'anglité, avec euh, Excellency Leslie Sanderson pour cadeau salarié au banou. Nous qui travaillons web, car comment c'est joli à pour joindre toutes ces monnaies qui voulaient ces dix mille douze vaccins salariés. Nous savions de là. Vini, nous qui travaillons, oui. Messieurs, chers.